Get him in! Get him in! Dude! Woo! He's not coming in yet. He hit it on the drop, set the hook. See what we got here. Oh, it's a Halley! Flatfish, baby. Hey, there he is. All right. See if I can get him with that boat over. Whoa! He's going crazy. See if I can get him with that boat over. Whoa! He's going crazy. We're on the halibut alley right here. What a fish. We're gonna let this guy go and he'll become one of the big boys eventually. Yep. Got some pliers? Um, Maybe. Nope. You'll be up. Snap me a quick. Whoa! <laughs> uh oh. We're gonna wreck. Uh oh. Watch out for that. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna snap a picture. Got him. First fish on the board and it's a nice little 12 inch halibut. All right, I'm gonna flip him back in. Ready, folks? Bye. Beta. Woo, so rad. There it is. The big bait so far, why not one for one? One big bait, okay, we see. We see. All right, guys, here's the secret to all of our success. Secret sauce, if you fish with a hookup bait or any other sort of soft plastic bait, this is the juice right here. Just take it, squeeze some rod in its little tail, and now they could smell you from a mile away. It's basically just putting fart juice in there. <laughs> For them. <laughs> Out here on a beautiful Saturday. We got some float tubers down yonder. Sitting up here on the front of my boat. We got hooked up right over here, so we're gonna try to go back up and drift over the spot again. Usually where there's one fish, there is a fish friend. So we're gonna go try to catch his friend <laughs> or his wife. Or whoever is down there. I got some wisdom to share, all right? When I was a kid, I used to read this book. The first page said something along the lines of one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So we're going off that theory here, going back to where hey, we Hey, what about the one. black fish? <laughs> black fish, brown fish, yellow fish. Any of them are, are going to be a win to catch. So true, true, true. Head back to the fish alley right up over here. Fish attic. Let's go, a couple of fish addicts here. What in the hell did you hook? We got ourselves hooked into this barge recovery boat. Pretty sweet. You got off though. I did get off. Well, what do you say, we should move down there? Let's do it. Let's move down there. Drift a new lane where the big boy halibuts lay. All right, as we motor to this spot over here, give us a breakdown of this setup, bro. Breakdown, this is the, the Water Tender 9.5, people. One of the most pristine bass boats on the market. Actually, it's more of a skiff, but what we did here is we made it into a bass boat. Joe and I built this deck right here out of, you know, maybe half inch plywood, three quarter inch plywood. We carpeted it. We made it fit perfectly so we could have storage under our boat. We got these two simple little cupboard top thingies. What do you think you're in it for? How much do you think you're in this thing for? 
Man, this thing, I think, well, I got the boat for 300, bare bones. The wood and the materials to build this stuff cost, I would say it was maybe two to three hundred dollars. Uh, these chairs, 50 bucks each. Bass Pros? Bass Pro Shops, so we're up to 600 plus another 200, seven, 800. Then we got the motor, that thing was a Newport 46 pound thrust trolling motor, it was about was on sale for 189 honestly that, that was a score and then a hundred dollar battery so maybe a thousand bucks maybe 1200 at the most 1000 to 1200 bucks you can have a perfect little bass boat you can throw it in the bed of your truck you can take it anywhere um, it's not too crazy hard to build it just takes a little bit of time for cutting out the wood and making sure this fits snugly but we got ourselves a mini bass boat now. And we're gonna catch a lot of fish in it. All, All right. And gentlemen, what do we got here? We've got a fish that's as big as the bait. Oh my goodness. A nice little spotted bay bass. Look how greedy he is. He's trying Look to. Look how greedy that guy is. He's he was trying to eat thing. that whole thing, man. He set the hook hard enough to catapult him across the bay, man. I'm surprised he stayed in the water. There he is, little spotted bay. These guys are feisty. Better than nothing. Backflip. Let's get right. another one, about five times as big. Yeah, we got him right over there, kind of by the uh, sailboat, by the dock. And now a word from our sponsors. This is Jose Cuervo with the Boat Breakdown. We're sitting afloat here in Newport Harbor on this $300 Waterman 9.8. It's a fine craft for any fisherman. So Mr. Bill Dance, tell us more. <laughs> We've got our tackle box. <laughs> we made it even better by building a small deck out of plywood, carpeting the deck, and adding a couple seats to it. We also went ahead and added a trolling motor, a small 12 volt battery, and a couple of pole holders here. For around $2,000 out the door and maybe 10 hours of work, we got quite a capable uh, a boat here. If you guys have any questions, hit us in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. Good luck fishing, guys. Um, what was I saying? All right, we saw some bait fish. All right, there's a really specific procedure For to get in the water. Yeah, you got to chum the water with some triscuits. Step one. Hang on. Let's, let's restart that. All right. We're using a sabiki rig to catch some bait fish, and we're going to show you our technique on how to spread these crackers around pretty efficiently. Step one, chew all the flavor out of the triscuit. Get that triscuit flavor soaked up. Step two, hawk a baseball loogie size full of Triscuit into the water. <laughs> and as you can see, now it's nice and chewed up for the fish, if there is any around here. <coughs> really we saw some earlier. Maximizes your bang for buck in terms of flavor. Yeah, you get all the flavor, but none of the calories. That's right. We're trying to watch our figure around here. I know, we put on much more weight. I don't know if the waterman's going to be able to support us. Where in hell are these fish? Well. <laughs> hey, on the new setup. All How do right. you like that fucking oh, rod feels, and reel? I feel like it's a bass based on this uh, based on this guy. Based on his head shakes. What do we have? Oh, it's a Halley. It's a nice size Halley. I knew how I knew when he hit it, dude. That thing had to be a Halley. You in there. Beautiful. Let's check him out. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice, pull that hook. On the hook up, babe, man. This stuff is like gold. Let's see how long he is right here on our measuring. 
device. Look at the size of that mouth. Measure them out right here. Whoa! Can you hold like this yeah, you can. Alright All right, guys, let's see. Look nice this. California halibut. He's uh, about an 18 incher. Oh wait, no, yeah. Alright. 18 incher. Got a releaser? Yeah, yeah, you gotta be 22 to be legal. Alright. Look at the size of that mouth. Here, you want more, you want a picture? There you go, show us. Oh, that thing is beautiful. Fish addict, man. Ooh. We're out here catching halibut in uh, February. On the board with two halibut, Joe is right. Jose Cuervo is out fishing yolks right now. Bro, we got the uh, that was that bait too. I the think it's that blue, that blue bait. This guy right here. This is what we got him on. That's the one. That's what I caught the 30, uh, 30 inch on too. They love that bait right there. All right, go go get it. Go get some hookup baits, and you got to use the juice. It's a rockfish? What is that? Is it just algae, bro? I don't know. It like moved really far. Oh, yeah. Looks like algae. I'm high as fuck. You got me excited. <laughs> it literally looked like I was like trying to discredit it the whole time, but the more I was looking at it, I was like, wait a second, what is that? Alright, you guys, we stopped for some lunch. Right over there at the uh, good old Willy, what's it called? <laughs> Here on the Waterman 9.8, hey, we got a fine dining setup here. Tell them about that dual setup you got there. One for shitting, sitting, and one for eating. There's actually a hot tub under these two panels here. It's a fine craft for any fisherman. Which I won't remove because we're in the eating configuration now. Right. Hey, get yourself one of these babies. It's a fine craft. The most it, versatile boat on the market. The most versatile boat on the market. We're selling this one for uh, 3200 OBO. And that's our best offer, meaning offer higher than 3200 Exactly. We got a couple halibut today so far. Taking a lunch break. It's a beautiful day out. Joe almost caught a legal one, 18 inches. But it was just a little bit short, like something else of his. <laughs> but hey, you know, that's how it is sometimes. <laughs> what do you gotta say? Enjoying the day, man. Right up here. Facts.